hi guys welcome back to today's video i don't know if you have heard the latest trend agencies in germany helping foreigners <laughs> i don't know if you have come across them on tiktok i don't know if you have come across them on facebook they are running advertisements ads everywhere on instagram they are everywhere and they are not good for you you are welcome to today's video today i'm going to be talking about helping somebody or an organization a lawyer third party when you want to get your german passport lately i've been seeing a lot of companies a lot of individuals a lot of i don't know if i should call them agencies they come and tell you that they will help you to get your german passport and they will help you to fast forward this they will help, help you to put it out there so that you get it faster okay um you all know that the laws concerning getting german passport has recently been changed so there are a lot of changes that um, enables us as foreigners to get uh Angeborg, to get the german passport so all you need to do is to meet some some requirements and for those of us that have been here more than 12 years 11 years 10 years um we are qualified majority of us are qualified you can also be here for 20 years you're not still qualified yeah okay you have been here more than three years maybe you don't have some certain things you're not working you're not still qualified or you are not you don't have a german language skills to be eyes you are not qualified but before we get into that part of this video i want to tell you something there's a lot of things people are ripping people off i've had about three people now write me messages on how they paid people to to help them apply for german citizenship and i didn't understand it i was like how did we get there you can't be living in a country where information is free if you ask you will get if you ask if you go to the right authorities and ask for information you will get information we cannot be living in a country like germany and you allow people to rip you off of your hard-earned money you allow people to use your head you allow people to to scam you what what is this how did you people end up looking for lawyers looking for organizations looking for non-profiting organization looking for people to help you to apply for german german resident permits apply for a uh, german passport how did you people get there how so i hear people are paying thousands of euros people are paying hundreds of euros to get something that costs 255 euros you get somebody that will ask you to bring 500 euro 800 euro 1000 euros because they want to help you to fill a form the standard of getting a german passport is the same everywhere it's the same yes the only issue now is this there are places that you live if you live in a very big state start where they have a law of foreigners where they have a lot thousands and what they have is one start and what they have is one foreign office don't expect states like that to be when you apply for things don't expect that the process will be as fast as ours who lives in a remote village i live in a remote village with my husband and when we apply for resident permit for example if you apply for anything recently i followed somebody to i helped not i helped i followed a friend to the foreign office to make an application for a res a type of resident permit and normally when it happens like that it takes like 21 days it will be printed and and you will get it but these days i noticed that once they print it they will ask you that you should wait for one whole week you wait for seven days even when you get the letter before when you get the letter the next day you can go to the foreign office you get your resident permit okay the new resident permit but now if you make anthrax if you make if you apply for a resident permit and the resident permit comes out they will ask you to stay for one week before coming this is because they are making sure they are attending to people and there are a lot of people like this is a village this is a village here 
Okay, so for those of you that lives in Hamburg, Berlin, Munich, that lives in Dusseldorf, Cologne, all those big cities, Frankfurt, you don't expect that the process is going to be as fast as we who live in the village. Those law that came into effect recently, about if you have stayed more than three years, four years, you can apply and you have, you meet some certain criteria, you can get your German passport. Now, there are a lot of people, I have a colleague that have been here more than 30 years. She is still struggling to get her B eyes so that she will become a German. Her husband is already a German. She is qualified, she's overqualified, but the problem is she needs to pass this B eyes before she will apply. And if she doesn't pass, there is no way they will give to her. A lot of people, thousands of people, both those that just came three years ago, those that came four years ago, five years ago, six years ago, seven years ago, people that everybody is applying at the same time. All you need to do is be patient. Now, how do you go to a lawyer and give a, the lawyer will tell you that if you give him or her money, he will help you to apply for a German passport and then they will help you to get it faster. <laughs> no, we are not in, in your countries. We are not in our countries. We are here in Germany. It's first come, first serve. They don't bring somebody's documents, like your, your application that you made today. They will abandon those that have made, when they know that they have application that they have, they got like three years ago or two years ago, they have not attended to, they will start attending to yours. No. What do you need to do? If you go to your state house, start the rat house, you will get a form. The form is the same all over Germany. You can even print it online. Now, this is it. The requirements are different for those that, that are married, for students, for children, for everybody. Your requirement is different from I'm married. If I'm applying for a resident, uh, sorry, a German passport now, they will probably ask for some information from my husband. Maybe they will ask me to bring his um, um, loan pressure. So, if you go to your start on the form, they will tick the things that you need to bring for you. And once they tick them for you, you cannot go ahead and bring those things. Then the start will forward the application to the foreign office, to the Einbogerung office in the foreign office, not the foreign office that has. Uh, now, there's something that you people don't even get. When you go to foreign office, there are different uptime loans. There are different departments. There are departments of foreign office that takes care of um, asylum seekers. The whole of foreign office is not only for asylum seekers. There are those that take care of uh, people who have permanent residence permit. There are those asylums that take care of those who have work permit. Yes, it's called foreign office, but when you get there, it's divided. Everybody is not going to the asylum or uh, azul, beverber, uh, azul, azul department. No. If you don't know these things, you'll be worrying in how do people pay people to, to apply for residence permit for you? And you think you get it you get it faster when you pay such amount let me tell you German passport is good go to the state house your start take the form make your application and submit and be patient it takes time even before this law this new law came to effect people has made applications since like two years I know Adama my sister has made her own application, I think over two years now, before this new law. And she, and she has not gotten a response. Like where she stays is a big state. There's a lot of foreigners there. So it's turn by turn, they will get your turn. So stop wasting your money. Don't give lawyers money to make application for you. Lawyers are not supposed to make application. 
if you qualify, you will get it. It will only delay. And be patient. When you go to the foreign office, I see all those files that you see the people that are there. There are no many. There are no many people working there. It will take time. So be patient. And if I make an application, if somebody in my small village makes an application and comes online and say, oh, I made an application two months ago and today I got it, is because the population in that state where the person is staying is not much. You will not use it to compare the population in, uh, in Cologne, in Cologne, in Dusseldorf, in Essen, in Frankfurt, in Berlin. Those are big, big states. So when you do things in these big states, you have to be patient. And please, stop patronizing these people. They are scamming you. They are just, <laughs> they are just using you. They are just using you. See, no foreign office, no stad, no stad can treat your file before others because you made your application through a lawyer especially when you have to come with resident permit passports no one can give you nobody can give you passport in germany it is you that will have to work you have to work for it especially if you're 18 years old if you are over 18 years if you're a baby, children, you know, they, they, they are, they are, their parents have German pass. They get German pass like that. But if you are over 18 years, you, can, you will not have to fulfill some things. You have to do things. And for those of us that came here as, as uh, adults, there are things that you have to, you have to get your b -Eins. You have to get your living in Deutschland or Einbogaron test. Your, or politics, whatever it is that you call it. You have to also have paid what is called, you have to also get what is called, uh, what is known as physician rank, rental physician rank for, for love. How much or how long that you have paid into the um, retirement, retirement bond, uh, retirement um insurance you must have paid for 54 months or so before which is five years now this requirement might be different from somebody as a student it might be different from those that came here with um family reunion but is as soon as you get to your state your states have all your information your start where you live they have all your, if you are married, once they open the, once they, you give them your house vice, and then they take the number of the uh, number on your house vice and put it on their computers, all your information, data, how you came into this country, how long you have been, and all that, it will show them. Then from there, they will now tick the things that you need to bring. So everybody's requirement is to an extent different. Go to your state house. Stop patronizing these people. Stop it. You don't need it. I don't know if it's the fact that we have this mentality of somebody must help us to do something. That is the reason why some of you are so lazy to go out there to source for your information. And that is it today. And I hope this video is helpful to you. If you, are, you have money to throw around, send me the money. Don't go and give it to lawyers. Don't give it to... If you have legal issues... Even if you have legal issues, don't go to lawyers to make application for a resident permit. No. If you have, if you have uh, a baby mama, a baby papa that is that does not want to give you, that does not want to give you uh, what is it called, um, father shaft. Okay, you can do things like that. Even after they have approved this father shaft, you still have to fill up, uh, uh, make the application and send it to the foreign office. If things like that are being difficult and then you now want to go through a lawyer, okay, yes, it's okay. But you see, this passport of a, a, a thing, this I'm bogaro of a thing, you going to pay a lawyer, paying all these people, all these, all these thieves, 
all these people ready there to take your money. They will just wear suit and come and speak big, big, a uh, uh, big, big German language for you. You will think that there's there, there any big thing they're doing for you. Don't be intimidated, okay? Don't be intimidated. If you are sitting in this country to the extent that you are qualified for German resident, uh, German passport, you should, one of the things that you should do is, is to become fearless. Not what we never see for this country now. I don't see. So with all these things that you have passed through, unless for those of you that just came like a student, you did not pass through the system or the system have not passed through you. We have passed through the system and the system has passed through us. So you're not supposed to be scared. Not so, what do you want to scare you now? What do you want to scare you again? Go and make the application yourself and stop throwing away your money. They're just giving you stories. If you if they help you to apply and you got it like three, three months after. That is, that means it is that time that even if you apply for yourself, you would have gotten it that time. It, they are not doing anything like that in foreign office, in Einburgers office. There is nothing like bribing them. So, true. So, guys, thank you so much and see you next time. Bye-bye.